Hey guys, welcome back. Today's topic is about how can we represent signed binary numbers in sign magnitude, two's complement, and one's complement. So before going to the topic, please click that subscribe button. It will help me a lot to produce more good videos. Okay, let's go into the representation of sign binary numbers. So we use decimal numbers. We use decimal numbers which has base 10. So in decimal numbers, we distinguish positive numbers and negative numbers by using plus sign and negative sign. So whereas in binary, the base is 2. We don't have plus sign and minus sign. So what we do is we, we have only 1 and 0. Okay, so here 0 is indicated as positive and 1 is indicated as negative. So this is how we are going to represent in, in sign magnitude form. So by taking 1 as negative and 0 as positive. So MSB bit of a number, binary number, if it is 1, it is a negative number. MSB bit is 0 then it's a positive number. So let's look into the sign magnitude form. In sign magnitude form, we have one extra bit. We have one extra bit, which is added at the end of the binary number. So this extra bit is the MSB bit, which indicates what? Sign. Sign whether it's positive or negative. So okay. So we have one extra bit which indicates whether it's positive or negative. So let us clearly understand this. Adding one extra bit, how are we distinguishing between positive and negative? So I have written it like this, sign and magnitude. So let us take an example of minus 7. So minus 7 can be written in binary form as 1, 1 and 1. So this is the magnitude of this minus 7 and we need to have one extra bit so that to indicate the sign. Since it's a negative one, so we are adding one more bit. So this is minus 7. The adding one at the end, that is at the MSB bit, gives us a negative sign. Okay, this is the key point in sign magnitude. We can write anything like this. So if you want minus 3, what we need to do? 1, 0, 1, 1. This is magnitude, this is sign. So we are taking one extra bit to indicate, indicate the sign. So this is sign magnitude form. So even if you want to write plus 3, don't forget to add 0 in front because it's not a 3 bit, it's a 4 bit. This, is, this represents signs. So this should be positive, okay? So don't forget to add this one. This is an important one. In exams, if you don't see this plus 3 and if you don't add an extra bit for sign magnitude form, then your answer will be wrong. So now let us look what's the problem with sign magnitude form. Why the sign magnitude is not considered? Why we are going with another method for representing sign numbers? So major drawback of sign magnitude form is that we have two zeros. We have two zeros. What does two zeros mean? We have positive zero and negative zero. So positive zero is represented like zero, 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 zero. And negative zero is represented one, zero, zero, zero. So this is not a good case. You know, we should not have two zeros. One zero is sufficient for us. So this is the major setback of sign magnitude form we cannot have two zero values so we move to one's complement form so now let us look how the one's complement looks but what's the range how many uh, bits how many bits represent how many numbers in sign magnitude form what is the range of sign magnitude form so the range of sign magnitude is minus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. If n equals to 4, that means a 4 bits. Since we have used 4 bits till now, so what's the range? Till what number can we use? So 2 power 3 minus 1, 8 minus 1, it is minus 7. 
to 7 okay it is minus 7 to 7 that's the range for n equals to 4 so we have a problem minus 0 and plus 0 cannot be used let us look whether this issue is solved in one's complement or not so how are we gonna represent a signed binary number in one's complement let's go for one's complement so in one's complement it's similar to sign magnitude form we use an one extra bit so we use one extra bit for sign a positive sign or a negative sign okay so for positive we use zero and for a negative we use one so that rule remains same what changes is that the magnitude magnitude whatever the magnitude we are using it's once complemented so the magnitude is changed in once complement and the sign bit remains the same so let's understand this what change happening by using an example so let us take an example minus 7 so minus 7 so the sign it is negative so the msb bit will be 1 so we know that magnitude of the binary representation of 7 is 1 1 1 but we need to take one's complement of this magnitude so one's complement of this 1 1 1 is this just to just complement the 1 so it will be 0 it will be 0 and it will be 0 and write our answer is 1 0 0 0 this is minus 7 in one's complement okay this is minus 7 in one's complement so this is how you are going to represent a sign binary in one's complement let's take one more example for a better understanding so let us take an example minus 3 so for the sign bit it is 1 and the magnitude in binary how we write it is 0 1 1 just take one's complement of it it's 1 0 0 now this is our one's complement for sign number it is one one zero zero so this is minus three in one's complement okay in one's complement so why we shifted from sign magnitude to one's complement was that we need we need to remove the drawback of zero and minus zero has it been removed in this let us check it out so we need to represent minus zero and plus zero so let's check whether what happens whether they are different or same so since the sign bit is 1 for the negative and for positive it's 0 so magnitude it will be all zeros and then we need to convert it to one's complement so it will be 1 1 and 1 so here also same 1 1 and 1 so the problem with that is they are not same see it is having one more difference it's 0 and 1 over here so we don't require two zeros a positive 0 and negative 0 maybe it might satisfy the condition of one's complement or sign magnitude but we are not having two zero values so understand this we do not require plus 0 and minus 0 so this is a major drawback of one's complement also so we need we are going for two's complement let's see whether it solves this problem before we're going to two's complement let's check what's the range of one's complement so the range is similar to sine magnitude form it is minus two power n minus one minus one two two power n minus one minus one so if n equals to four so it is two cube two cube minus one it's minus seven two seven so the range is similar to the sine magnitude form now let's go for two's complement form and how the sine number is represented in, in two's complement so two's complement before going to two's complement representation i want to know how the two's complement forms so two's complement is nothing but one's complement plus one at lsb so if we add this one's complement with one at lsb then we get the two's complement so i'm gonna show an example how a two's complement is done so let us convert this number 
into two's complement form. So what's this number? It's six. Okay. Let's convert the six into two's complement. Before converting into two's complement, we need to convert into one's complement. So what's one's complement? Just invert it. One, zero, zero. Now, now we need to add plus one to LSB. LSB is the leftmost, least significant bit and it's on the right hand side. So this is least, least significant bit. So we need to add one. So what we get is zero. One is carried over here. Zero plus one, one. And this is our tools complement results. So now let's go how a bi how a signed binary is represented in two's complement form. Okay. So again in this scenario also we have sign and magnitude. Magnitude is represented in two's complement. So now let us understand how are we going to represent by an example minus seven. So how are we going to represent minus seven in two's complement form? Since the sign is one, so we need to represent the magnitude in two's complement. So magnitude is one 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 in the binary. Now we need to convert into what two's complement. So first we need to convert into one's complement. The zero zero zero, and then it's one complement, and then add plus one at the LSB. So we'll get two's complement. Okay. So it is zero 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 one. So what's the magnitude? The magnitude is zero zero one. So this whole is our two's complement form of minus seven. So one zero zero one is the two's complement of the minus seven. I hope you are getting how are we converting using two's complement. So now let us take an another example for better understanding. So we take minus three as another example. Since the sign is one, so it's negative. We need to take one positive, then it means zero. So, but the magnitude need to be represented in two's complement form. So one, one, zero, one, one is three in binary. In one's complement, it is zero, zero, and one. And we need to add what? We need to add one to it at LSB. So now add it, it's one, zero, and one. So this is our two's complement form. Now we need to combine all of them. That's it. This is what we got. This is two's complement form of minus three. Okay. So why we came for two's complement? We need to check whether our zero and plus zero are similar or not. So let's look into it. Okay. So we have plus zero and minus zero. So the sign is one for here and it is zero for here. Okay. So magnitude will be, so first we need to convert into one's complement, it's one, one, one. And now we need to add one over here. So when we add one over here, it's zero, one carry, zero, one carry, zero, and one carry to the sign bit. This is the difference. Okay. Now it's all zeros. Okay. For a minus zero, we are representing with all zeros. So for minus zero, we are representing with all zeros. Okay, don't forget this. And now plus zero. So plus zero, it is represented as normal with nothing. So plus, we are not changing anything. For plus, we are directly writing. So here, the major change is that zeros is equal. Zeros values are equal. And one more thing, don't forget to add the carry at the sign bit. Don't forget to add the carry. First, we take the ones once complement sign form then we add plus one at the lsb if the carry is there at the sign don't forget to take that carry okay never forget to take this carry so this is a major point so both zeros are equal so why are we going for two's complement because two's complements lead to a simple circuit and less experimental circuits. That's the main reason we are going for two's complement. So now let us go for what is the range of two's complement. Okay. So the range of two's complement is minus two power n minus one to two power n minus one minus one. So here we have an extra term at the negative side because we know that plus zero and minus zero are equal in two's complement form. Don't forget it. 
so okay this is the main reason we are going for two's complement okay now if n equals to 4 so we'll go with the range of minus 8 2 plus 7 so this is the range of 2's complement so never forget 2's complement is used because plus 0 and minus 0 are equal okay in the sign binary representation so I'll show you a paper where I've written everything so in this paper you can observe the 1's complement, 2's complement and sign magnitude form how are they written so as you can see so this is sign magnitude form so positive numbers will be same in 1's complement and 2's complement all changes will happen with negative numbers so in negative numbers in sign magnitude form we added 1 at the extra bit and the remaining bit is same but in 1's complement we have complemented the magnitude as you can see the negative extra bit is same but we have complemented this so we have added a 1 at the LSB to 1's complement over here since we have added 1 so 0 is represented as positive 0 so it has all zeros so this is not there in 2's complement so now we add one more 1 then we'll get all four ones for negative 1 okay similarly at minus 7 we added one more one for the ones complement and we got one zero 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 one so this is the sign magnitude ones complement and twos complement so i hope you understood how to represent sign binary numbers in all three formats if you have not understood that's my fault uh, so if you have any doubts please comment down below i will explain clearly within 24 hours so that you are important to me I'll clarify your doubts within 24 hours please do subscribe and that will help me a lot and you because we'll get connected and thanks for watching hope you like this video please click that subscribe button